Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How y'all doing this morning? Go ahead and double tap on that screen for me. How y'all doing this morning? What's going on? Good morning, good morning. Kenya, you, you ain't playing no games this morning, getting on here this, uh, this morning. How you doing this morning? Come on, I see y'all tapping in. Come on, bad gal, I see you already in the building. Lysandra, how you doing? Okay, y'all 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 like, wait a minute, it's Wednesday. Let's get to it, coach. Good morning, good morning, spiritual God, daughter, I see you. Good morning, perfect storm. Okay, I see you tapping in, boss lady. I see you tapping in. They go, okay, they go, strength of a woman. I see Tia, Tia and the pastor checking in. Good morning to you. How you doing? Good morning, good morning, good morning. How y'all doing this morning? What's going on, Sharon? Demetrius, what's going on? Jackie Collins, how are you this morning? Y'all double tap on the screen as you're coming into the room real quick. How y'all doing this morning? Yeah, you see me, right? You see me? I done pulled back out the hot suit, baby. Yeah. We got we gonna we're gonna get it down one way or another, man. I'm telling y'all. We're gonna have to do something. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. How y'all doing this morning? What's up, inspiring queen? I see you chosen life. I see you uh spiritual G. I see you and I appreciate the gifts that's coming through already. If you up this morning and you just happy to be here, go ahead and double tap on my screen. What's going on, Cherie 21? I see you just call me, Miss Jackson. I see you, T Way. I see you this morning good morning good morning to you just kales how are you sharon bradley alicia i see you danielle danielle good morning to you rachel white good morning to you kimberly ness how you doing thank you danielle for those stars how y'all doing jessica monet i see you heather smith good morning to you best wishes to you super proud of you take care of that baby over there man congrats on everything that you're doing double tap on that screen man Come on, double tap, double tap on that screen. Listen, I'm a, I, I, I had I had to go back to the sauna suit, y'all. I got the top and the bottom, but I ain't really bottom heavy, so I'm top heavy. So that's the reason why I got the sauna suit back on. Had to slide back to Walmart to get a new one. So yes, if you're trying to get one of these sauna suits, it's definitely over at Walmart. And I know I shouldn't be saying that online. I should actually have it on the the Amazon storefront. I know that, but I'm just gonna tell y'all this this time. It's Walmart. Walmart. Let's then five dollars to go to Walmart. You get the top and the bottom. That's the sauna suit over in the workout area. Go and grab you one. Good morning, Linda Jones, Anna Marie. How you doing this morning? Double tap on the screen. If you just happy, oh, single low. How you doing this morning? Coach, ain't seen you in a minute. Hope all is well with you this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, everybody, man, that's on the live this morning, already tapping in. I just want to, man, listen, I just want to say that first and foremost, I love me some you. I love your commitment. I love your dedication. I love the fact that y'all are getting up every single morning and making this a part and a start of your every single morning, a start of your day, helping you get your what? Your three wins a day. That's mind. That's body. That's soul. That's right. That's a spiritual a win, a mental win, and a physical win every single day. I show, I love me some you. Hello, somebody. Yeah, I love, I love me some you. Thank you, bad gal. I appreciate you. Bonafide. I appreciate you. Double tap on that screen. Yes, Tia, I got me a um, Amazon storefront. I'm getting it created right now. Everything gonna be created. Tara sent me the information, so we gonna get it locked in. We gonna have it right. Uh, what's going on? Cause people like to read the books that I read. They like to get some of the stuff that I be having. So we gonna put it up there. How y'all doing? What's going on Jackie Chapman. Good morning to you. Thank you so much, Patrice, for that badge. Rachel White, appreciate those stars. Y'all, oh, y'all know this morning, right? Y'all already tapping in. Good morning, Antoinette. Man, good morning to everybody. Grand rising to everybody. Rich rising to everybody and to my chosen family. Y'all know who y'all are. My Patreon subscribers under yeah. Happy new day to y'all. Coach, love me some you. We had wonderful prayer hour on yesterday. I ain't gonna lie, I'm waiting on Thursday. I ain't gonna lie. I, it, it, it's something about the environment. It's something about being surrounded by people that are that are eager to learn and to grow and to evolve. It's it's, it's a whole new baby. It's a whole new thing over there. So I, you know, what I mean, I, I I can't lie. I talked about prayer all night last night, man. I said that was a good prayer call there, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's just that we go there for prayer on Tuesdays and Thursdays at twelve. Uh, it's twelve p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But I promise you, we always end up getting a word. We always start out with a scripture, and then we start deep dive. 
diving into that scripture every single time and then we start creating great conversation off of that it can be one scripture one scripture and I'm gonna tell you that we, we would get to talking into that and coming from different perspectives and talking about different experiences that everybody that went through off of that one scripture I'm telling you and that's the reason that's the reason why I say so many times that you can tell the same biblical story and you can tell it so many different ways and get so many different perspectives because everybody's life is so different Everybody's life and everything is so different. So then when you in a group like how the chosen family, the Patreon group. So when you get into that group and you hear that one story and then you see how hear all the different perspectives, get everybody's different experiences and how it ties into that one story. It starts to show you how much we are really alike and also not alike. It teaches you how to really, you know, respect people and, and, and what they're going through. Like, even though you might see somebody and they might be well-dressed and have all this going on, all that going on, and then they sit there and tell you that even though I got all of this going on, all of that going on, I'm still broken. It changes your whole perspective. You sitting in a group of people that, that are saying, you know, I got this, I got that, but I still got low self-esteem. My confidence still is not at its best. And then all of a sudden that feeling that you had of loneliness, like it was just you going through it and everybody else is good. Everybody else is fine. You learn in that moment that it's not just me, that the enemy wanted me to trick me into thinking that I was by myself. The enemy wanted to trick me into thinking that I was alone the enemy wanted to trick me into thinking that you know it wasn't work, gonna work out for me and somehow or another come on somehow yeah come on that's why yeah come on come on talk to me nice talk to me nice then all of a all of a sudden you find out you are not by yourself all of a sudden you find out that wait a minute I I, I got this I got this. I got this. It's me. Yeah, we're going to tell what they say. We're going to touch and agree together. We're going to lock in together. We're going to make this work together. I got other people that's going through this. And all of a sudden, you don't feel as alone. All of a sudden, you start to learn and you start to grow and you start to connect yourself with people. Some people who have already gone through that experience and they saying, hey, look, this is what I did. This is what I done. When I did this, this is how I done it. And all of a sudden, you get new information. Every time you receive something in love, right? When it's given in love, you receive it in love. Then you start to grow in love. Like, wait a minute. Somebody just told me something. I'm going to try that. And then you find yourself doing what? When you say that I'm going to try that, do you know what that means? When you say I'm going to try that, this is motivational moment, right? When you say that I'm going to try that, do you know what that means? In the moment where you decide, thank you so much, Vivi and Audrey, for the cash app, what happens is you're trying new things come on small things the bible says god uses the smallest things to confuse the wise yeah yeah yeah. you don't need big words you don't have to have all the plaques on the wall you don't have to have all the accolades and all the license of and all yeah 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 yeah, yeah. smallest things baby small come on that's the smallest thing smallest thing it's great if you have you know what i mean it's great if you go and get those things nobody's down in that but i'm just saying that don't be looking at yourself like you're less than if you don't have it oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. because yeah don't look at yourself as you're less than just because you don't have it that's not for everybody that's not a route that everybody wants to take understand that so there's a difference so what i'm saying to you when you start doing when you start getting around this is why it's important to be in the right rooms this is the important why it's important to be in the right group so connected to the right people to have the right tribe and i'm just breaking down my own particular tribe which is the chosen family this is why that group matters so much because when you are in a group of people that are eager to learn that are eager to grow that are operating out of love and and, and very connected consistent in what it is that they're doing when you're in there and you're open and you're honest and we take that one scripture that we open up with on Thursday on Tuesday Thursday for prayer we open get that one scripture and that one scripture creates so much different conversation and you start to hear everybody's different perspectives and their experiences from it you realize number one you're not alone 
Even though the enemy is trying to trick you into thinking that you're alone, you realize one in that moment that you are not alone, like I'm not by myself. And the second thing that you start to realize in that is now you're getting new information, right? When you start getting the right type of information, what happens when you're getting that information? It pushes you. It, it, it encourages you to do what? To do what? To try something new. And when you start trying something new, then that means you're doing what? You're doing something that you've never done before. Right? Come on. Take, take these notes. You're doing, and nobody, ever, we, we never talked about it. Just think about it. Think about it. how small, how minute that really is. When you say, I'm going to try that, you are making a decision in that moment to say that I'm going to step out of my comfort zone. You thought it was small, but baby, that's big. It's very hard to get people to step out of their comfort zone. It's very hard to get people to try something new. It's very hard to get people out of that familiarity understand that and they don't even realize that it's a trap so the moment that you get around people that are encouraging you to try something different come on single low let's bring let's be real the moment that you get inspired or motivated to get up and to do something different you now just said I'm about to step out of my comfort zone I'm about to be a risk taker I'm about to try something new I'm gonna do something I never done before and that right there that's what promotes transformation. Talk to me nice this morning. Yeah, come on. Come on, Tia. Yeah, double tap on the screen. That's what promotes transformation. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to try that out. You thought that it was as simple as you saying, I'm going to try that out. I'm going to try fasting. I never fasted before, but since I got in a group, I'm going to start fasting. Good morning, Karen. How you doing? Yeah, uh, since I got in a group, I'm going to start fasting. And then all of a sudden, you start fasting. Look at here. The other says confirmation. I'm telling you, it'd be the smallest things. He said the smallest things is what he used to confuse. It's the wise, right? That, that, the smallest thing. Oh, I, I'm just going to start fasting. They never fast before a day in your life all of a sudden you get into the chosen family and you just start fasting they, they are now you're learning how to fast and you're like wait a minute this is different to me this make me feel clean it makes me feel light it makes me feel detox I like the way that this right here this feels right then you say oh okay now I'm in this group with these people they actually pray every Tuesday and every Thursday I don't know how to pray I never really had to pray before I don't know nothing about that really then all of a sudden you showing up every Tuesday every Thursday 12 p.m. in the patreon and we're going into prayer and you're listening to someone pray over you all the time and now you're learning the words of prayer you we, we even we was a part of our book that was even breaking down what prayer was gave you a whole guideline of prayer why because you're in the right room you're in the right room you're getting the right information you're getting just what you need to break you out of of your old shell, right? So now I'm learning how to pray. All of a sudden, you know, I ain't never been no reader. I ain't never been the one to do no bunch of reading. I ain't really got time for that. You know, I be working and I got this to do and that to do. I got these kids at the house. I got to cook dinner, wash clothes, clean house, all of these things. And now that you're in the right room with people that are encouraging you, that are pushing you, that are loving on you and saying, hey, look, this is what we about to do right here. Now you say, I don't know if coach going to call on me this week, so let me go ahead and read my chapter. All of a sudden, you have a accountability. Why? Because I'm connected to people and I don't want to fail my team. Let me get in there and let me read the book. Now, all of a sudden, yeah, 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 you'll show up the class. you ordering books. Hmm? You was all before, way before you got to became a part of the chosen family. You was ordering face masks. You was ordering bundles. You was ordering shoes, clothes, uh, electronics, everything in between off of Amazon. Your Amazon cart was filled with materialistic things. But because of your change environment, now all of a sudden, your Amazon cart got what? It got a brand new Bible. It got uh, uh, brand new self-help books. You know what I'm saying? Things that we're reading. Wait a minute. You ordering books? When you start ordering books? Why? Because this is the book that we're reading in my class class right now. All of a sudden, you're starting to read again, right? You're showing up the class. We're going through the book. We're making the highlights. We're pulling
pulling out all the parts that stand out the most. What do you, why do you want them to do that, coach? Because the more that you read, the more that you expand your mental health, the more knowledge that you grasp, more understanding that you grasp. It's one thing for somebody to tell you something, right? It's another thing for you to open up the book and for you to read it for yourself. My chosen family, my Patreon, my mental health support group, it's not just a regular group. It's not how can I teach you how to make a million dollars. It's not how I can turn you into six figures. It's how can I help you mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually operate at your very, very best. That's what it's about. All of a sudden, here you are showing up in a group and you're expanding your mental health, right? You're learning new things. And these are just not things that have somebody's telling you. You're reading them. You're gaining the knowledge, the understanding, the breakdown right there for yourself. Do you know how empowering that is for a person? Wow, that, wait a minute. I didn't even know that, coach. Wait a minute, all my life I thought this, coach. Wait a minute, oh my God, that just opened up something for me. Oh my God, that was my confirmation. Oh my God, that's my life right now. Oh my God, yeah. And the more that you have that oh my God moment, the more it fuels you to keep going. The more that it feels every single time you learn something new and you and you you learn something new, you unlearn something old. Every single time you learn something new, you unlearn something old. Like, yeah, I thought it was this, but that's not right. That's incorrect. That's inaccurate. That's incomplete. That's not all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. But yeah, every time you learn something new, you unlearn something old. Come on, double tap on the screen. That's why it's so important to be in the right rooms. That's why it's so important to be in the right environments. That's why it's so important to be surrounded by the right people. That's why it's important. We don't jump on here every single morning, Monday through Friday, just to say get into Patreon, just to say become a part of the chosen family. No, we don't. We come on and we give you a message. But this morning, I felt like, let, let me break down because everybody's like, what's the chosen family? What's the chosen family? That's the chosen family. When you're choosing you, you're choosing to learn. You're choosing to grow. You're choosing to heal. You're choosing to evolve. You're choosing to create the very best version of yourself. You're choosing to do the necessary work to reconstruct who you are, what you are, and not from the outside, but from the inside in. Everybody can't do that. So only the chosen ones will become a part. You have to be chosen. If you haven't chosen you, we don't expect for you to get it, right? This is something that you got to be willing to do the work in. This is, yeah, somebody said, wait a minute, they've they been, they been in your group, they've been in that group for how long holding up a space? Yeah, they, yeah, they, they not giving up their spot. They not, they, they not going to give up their spot. That's just how, that's how, how it goes. Environment it matters. Growth and development, that matters. And when you are in the right company and you're surrounding yourself by other like-minded people that want to grow, that want to evolve, when you want to have a pity party, they're going to say, we ain't doing no pity parties. When, yeah, yeah, when, you, yeah, when you want to mope and cry and speak negatively about yourself, they're going to check you. No, ma'am, no, sir, not today. We're not doing that. We're not doing the negative talk. We're not doing the pity party. We're not doing all that extra. Get up, dust yourself off, and get back in the game. If you, if you ain't never had older sisters and brothers, the chosen family might be too tough for you because we checks each other, baby. If you ain't never had nobody tell you to get up, to get back in the game, to dust yourself off, then yeah, you if you're a little sensitive, you might not want to be there because we don't be doing no playing around with folks. You can come in there, you can express yourself, bring your questions, your comments, your testimonies, and everything else, but baby, if you come in there with that negative mindset, we checking it. Hey, look at here. Time to shake that up off of your sweets. It's time to let that go bookie but we not about to do that right there that's right we're gonna get you back in the game why because that's the only way that you will grow if you cannot be you could not be corrected then you will never grow if nobody can ever tell you anything you will never grow it's our responsibility we're connected to you we're connected to you, which means everybody got to move. Everybody got to be making some strides. Everybody got to be doing something. We're all connected. We one band, one sound. We one body out here together. Yes, we need you to get up. We need you to get in. We need you to double tap. We need you to work. That's a fact. Everybody has a job that they have to do. If you can't ever be corrected, how 
can you grow? If we sit around you and just let you think that it's okay for you to be broken, you will be broken for years. If we sit up under you and we just let you sit over there and mope and cry and be a Debbie Downer, a negative Nancy, and nobody ever say anything, then guess what? You will never grow. You will sit right there in that stuck, in that stagnant, in that stifled state. You will stay there for years on top of years on top of years. You And it ain't a lie. It ain't a lie. So my church folks, and I'm going to say this, and I ain't trying to get on your bad side. We all good this week. I just want to say this, though. And we know that it to be true because how in the world can you be broken the way that some folks are broken and still go to the church every single Sunday for church service, every single Wednesday for Bible study, every single the room, nobody ever say sister so and so, brother so and so we gonna have to do, no why, because some people benefit from you staying broken come on that's a fact, whether you want it, want to believe it or not. It's a lot of people around you that see the things that you do and see you're toxic, see you're narcissistic, see you're manipulative ways, and they'll never check you on it. They'll never call it out. They'll never address it. Why? Because some folk, yeah, they, they'll, they'll see it. They'll never say anything, though. They'll see that you are a person that is, oh, yeah, you severely depressed, stressed out, and everything else, and they'll just give you excuses. Why? Because some people benefit from you being broken. Some, be some people benefit from you not knowing your worth. Some people benefit from you not knowing who you are and what you carry. Some people benefit from that. Understand that. And what they do is as long as you don't know who they are, they'll tell you. As long as you don't know what you bring to the table, they'll tell you. They'll belittle you every chance they get. They, 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 oh, they'll discredit you every single chance they get. They will beat you down to the lowest every single chance that they get. Why? Because they know that they see greatness all over you. They know how powerful you're going to be if you ever get up. They know how powerful, how strong, how intelligent that you really are. And that the moment that you decide to shake that off and to step into your life and to really put the time, the energy, the effort, the intentionality that is required for you to grow and develop. They know that, guess what? They won't even be your type, baby. Hello? You will be looking at them with a side eye. Ain't no way in the world I was dating you. Ain't no way in the world I was friends with you. Ain't no way I was over here hanging out with you. You will have a brand new taste in folk and they won't be a part of the taste. And a lot of people know that already. That's the reason why they always got something negative to say. That's the reason why they always be littling you, always trying to point out your insecurities, your faults, and things about you. Why? Because they don't want you to see your greatness. They don't want you to heal. They don't want you to grow. They, they, yeah, yeah, why? Because they benefit from you being broken. That's the reason why being in the right environments matter. Get around folk that encourage you to be your best self. Be around folk. Be surrounded by folk that encourage you to work on yourself every single day that don't mind complimenting you, that don't mind bigging you up, don't mind clapping for you, don't mind telling you, you know what, you look good today. Come on! What are you saying, coach? I refuse to sit any in any spaces with anybody where I have to reduce the person that I am. What you say? I refuse to sit in any environment, any space where I have to reduce, dilute, sugarcoat the person that I am. I ain't coming on purpose. I avoid those spaces on purpose. Thank you, Danielle, Danielle. I stay away from those spaces on purpose. Save your invite. Don't RSVP me, not coming. Hello, don't, don't mail it to my house, still not coming. Don't send the text message, don't, I'm not coming. Don't put me in the group chat. I'm famous for leaving up out of group chat. Don't put me in the group chat, not coming. Thank you, Amanda, for the stars, baby, not coming. Will not be in attendance. Will not be sliding through. Understand that I refuse to be in spaces and places understand where I have to reduce the person that I am. If I got to dilute who I am to be there? Nah, 
I can't, I, I just, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna be able to do it. Yeah, and that right there, yeah, that's, I, that's definitely confirmation for somebody. That's definitely a message for somebody. Come on, there you go. Thank you to hell that I see you got the note right there. Yeah, come on, let's be, let's be real. And I, and yeah, and I'm not saying it to hurt your feelings this morning. I'm just telling you that you are more than enough all by yourself. I'm just telling you that it's okay in this quarter two, in 2024 quarter two right now, baby, it's okay to sit this one out. Go ahead, you can put it in the chat real quick. Yeah, yeah, it's okay to sit this one out. I'm good. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I get it. I understand it. But I refuse, understand, to sit in any spaces, any places where I have to reduce the person that I am. And I don't care what the relationships is, what family ship it is, who we are connected to, what's all surrounding it. I refuse to sit in a space, understand, where I have to reduce the person that I am. I'm not sitting and being uncomfortable for nobody. I'm not coming and sitting in nobody's face just because they sent the invite does not mean that I'm welcome. If I don't feel seen, if I don't seem valued, if I'm not heard, then I'm not coming. You can feel however you want to feel. Thank you, Lauren G64, for the badge. But I will not be in attendance. That's it. That's all. You have got to stop forcing yourself to be around people, around places and things where you are not respected. Thank you so much, Renee, for the badge, for the stars. Let's be real. Like, yeah. You go somewhere and you sit in there. You, you, you feel uncomfortable, but you can't, you, I, I'm uncomfortable. I'm, what, what I'm talking about in motivational moment, motivational moment, I'm just showing you how small things, things that we overlook on a regular basis, they really have a powerful punch, how they really affect our life, how our environment affects our life, the people that we're connected to, it, it, it affects our life. You're going to either be around people that are going to encourage you to do right. You're going to be around people that's going to encourage you to do more. You're going to be around people that's going to encourage you to become a risk taker, or you're going to be around people that encourage you to stay stuck, to stay stagnant, to stay stifled, to stay down, to stay broken in your life. But again, it's what? It's a decision that you're going to be making. The choice of your environment is all up to you. You have a divine right of choice. You can always exit two fingers swinging. You can always what? Abort that mission. You can always what? Disconnect and disengage. It's all up to you. Whatever cup of life that you decide to sip from is always going to be left up to you. You get to pick Pick and choose who you share your space with. You get to pick and choose who you give your time, your energy, and your effort to. That all is left up to you. That right there rests right there inside of your lap at every single day. You pick what is familiar every single day. You pick what is easy every single day. You pick what, it, oh, I already know, but I want you to understand. And doing what you've always known is going to get you the results that you've always got. If you continue to do what you've always done, you're going to always get what you always got. There will be no growth. There will be no elevation. There will be no development. Understand there will be none of that. You will be sitting right now in quarter two and doing the same thing next year 2025 over in May you will be doing the same thing, crying the same tears, having that same broken conversation. And that's a fact. All of this is going to be left up to you. Whether you win or whether you lose, whether you get that thing that you want or not, that's going to be left up to you. It's about, again, how bad do you want it? About getting in the right rooms, about being surrounded by the right people. These folks did not know while I wanted them to read. They did not know while I wanted them to fast, while I wanted them to pray, while we opened up with scripture. They didn't know why we doing two prayers a week. We show up Tuesday and we Thursday. They didn't know that. But guess what? Now they fast. Some people never fasted before. They like the way that it makes me feel. The coach, it makes me feel like I got a detox. I done cleaned out my mind, my body, my soul, my spirit. I never did this before. Break it down for me. Understand that you break it down. Now they on board. Oh, I, I got to do this at least once a month. I got to clean myself out at least once a month. How you go from not doing it at all to now wanting to do it every month or every other month? They ain't been reading before. They got busy with life. I'm lifeless life and I got children. I got all this other stuff going on. Now you're reading, expanding your mental health, increasing your vocabulary. Now you're learning and growing and it's not just stuff that is taught to you. It's also stuff that you're picking up the book. You're reading it in black and white right there for yourself. Now, I don't know how to pray. I ain't never prayed before. I ain't never been to one. Now you show up and you're understanding the words of prayer. You're understanding how important it is for you to have your own line of communication.
communication with God, now you're seeing that you are not alone in situations in life. And all of these things is inspiring you to do what? To change, to step out of your comfort zone, to challenge yourself, to become a risk taker. You have got to understand that environments matter. I can't teach you how to become six figures. Can't teach you how to be a millionaire. But I can teach you, I can teach you how to grow. I can teach you how to heal, how to move forward in life. I can give you the tools and the techniques. Baby, yes, we can come up out of that dark area. Oh yeah, we can back up off that ledge. I can get you up out that bed, but it's all about how bad do you want it because motivation alone won't do it. I can motivate you. Understand, when I'm motivating you, all I'm doing is I'm lighting the fire. When I give you your morning motivation, that's me striking the match. That's me hitting the lighter. I can light the fire, but being able to make that fire burn consistently without going out to make that fire continue to grow all throughout your life that requires work on your behalf. Motivation alone won't do it. Inspiration alone will not do it. You have got to get up and you have to work towards it every single day. You have to get up and you have to have a grit. You have to have a grind. You have to have a passion. You have to have a hunger to get up and do it every single day. I can give you the tools. I can give you the techniques. I can give you the inspiration and the motivation, but what will you do with it? What you gonna do with it? Come on, Heather Gigan. Come on, Tifa. Double tap on my screen. Let's, let's, uh, yeah, talk to me nice. What we gonna do with it? What you gonna do with it? I have to coach them poured, poured, poured. I have to coach them gave you all the goods. What are you gonna do with it? That's what's gonna matter the most. That's good coaching, right? That's good coaching because a coach, I'm not gonna just dump it on you. I'm going to come back. I'm gonna ask you about it. I'm gonna see you in class, where you're being. Understand that that's good coaching. Why? Because I wanna make sure you're in alignment. When you are leading or you're in the position of, you're in the leading position and you're guiding people. Come on, thank you, Don. What do you do? You have that. That, that staff, right? I'm you know the staff, the one that they, the old people call him a cane, and he got a hook on top of the cane, right? Come on, let's be real, let's talk about it. This is what coaching is, this is what teaching is, this is what guiding is. It's not I throw a bunch of information out there to you and you just got the information. That's not how it works, right? You give them the information, you make sure that they understand it, you break it down for them so that they can grasp it. Everybody learns differently. That's the reason why I wanted to dry erase board. Let me draw some pictures, let me make it so that everybody can understand. Some people are visual learners. Some people need to see the sketch. It might not be the best sketch, but I guarantee you when I sketch it, you get it. When I show up, I got cups and I got bottles of water. Simple as all get out, but guess what? You get it. You understand that you see it right there in real time. And the thing about it is you have the staff that got a hook. That's what it is. So what we're doing is when we're doing the teachings, I get up, I do the teachings first thing in the morning. You get everything that you need right here in the morning. If you're reading your book, now you're finding your confirmation all throughout your book. Now when you're listening to different, you're finding your confirmation all over the place. Then when I see, oh wait a minute, you ain't been to class, what I'm doing? Hook, pull. Some gonna like it, some not. But you say, coach, when I see you doing too much, I'm like, I gotta pull you in. Come here, where you been? I ain't seen you in prayer, I ain't seen you in class. Hook, pull. Yeah, yeah, that's what you, good shepherds, good, good, good shepherds gonna be concerned about you. We gonna be concerned about, well, yeah, we ain't seeing you in class. You got your book, you okay, everything rolling, hook, pull. That's what he would do. If the sheep would go out, they would take the hook that's on the end of the stick, grab the sheep by the neck and pull the, pull them on back in. You have to pull them back in. What's up? What's up? But if you can't be corrected, you will never grow. And sometimes people get distracted. Sometimes people get pulled off to a course. Sometimes people do, you know, life start life. In. But when you're committed to the cause, when you're committed, when you're called, when you're anointed, when you're appointed, when you have an assignment that is God given, you owe it, yeah, 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 every single day. You, you, you can't just you can't just throw it out there and then take a day off, oh I ain't gonna do this, I ain't gonna no 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 no. You have to show up.
You have to show up, and when you show up, you show up and allow God to do what he got to do. I can't let you just run around thinking that you're right. No, I got to correct you if I know that you're wrong. I can't let you just be saying no anything. No, I got to correct you when you're doing that. You know what I'm saying? You have to have people in your life that it won't always be me. Some of y'all got your mates. Some of y'all got people that you love and trust. You got to have people that you love and that you trust that, that that's, that's not afraid to tell you that when you're stepping out of line or that you've overcrossed some boundaries or that you shouldn't have said things a certain type of way and you should be able to accept that in love yeah you, you, you should have that right because being surrounded by a group of yes men is dangerous being surrounded by a group of people that don't challenge you that's dangerous you want to always have somebody in your corner that say hey wait a minute come here for a minute and you will know it by the delivery of it you'll know about the you'll know about the delivery of it because a person that love you they're going to say it to you in love. They're going to, they gonna, yeah, you're going to know that it's love by the way that it's delivered, delivered to you. So what, what I'm saying in this motivational moment is this right here. Stop looking at correction. Stop looking at correction as disrespect. Stop looking at people holding you accountable as disrespect. Stop looking at every time somebody let you know that there's another way or something else, something this, that, and the third that's going on. Be a person that is teachable. Be a person that is a student in this thing of life because we are not always right. And I want to say this right can come in many different forms. While we out here, right can come in many different forms. I may feel like I'm right about a situation because I was in that same exact situation and this is what I done in it. You may have been in that same situation and you done something totally different in that situation and that right is absolutely right for you because you done that and that thing worked out exactly how you needed to work out but we'll never know that there's multiple ways my grandmama told me y'all know she's a wise lady there she says more than one way to skin a cat baby and you have to operate with that mindset every single day I learned so much off of that front porch baby I'm gonna tell you right now what she said it's more than one way to skin a cat she was saying that there's more than one way to go about a thing stop thinking that that your way is the only way. Stop thinking that you are always right. That if it ain't your way, then it ain't no way. You Be a person that's willing to learn. A person that's willing to grow. A person that's willing to be open-minded and see things from a broader perspective. You got to be that. You got to be that individual. Y'all, you're going to run into some stuff in life, and sometimes when you run into some things in life, you got to be willing to unlearn some things that, that you thought that you knew. And that's where we at right now on our journey. As we continue to grow, as we continue to evolve, that's one of the things that I harp on the very most. Unlearn what you thought that you knew. We were taught a lot of things by broken people. We were taught a lot of things by people that were in survival mode. We were taught by a lot of people that was doing just what they needed to do to be able, excuse me, to get their job done. They didn't know how they was going to do it. They didn't know what was going to happen. All they was trying to do was do what they could do to keep a roof over the head, to keep food on the table, to make sure that there was peace, some type of peace, some type of sanity. They didn't have the, the luxury of some of the things that we have right now today. They were in a different type of place. So not to bash them, not to make it seem like, oh yeah, y'all was so wrong and this and that, you know, but to say that we're no longer in that place. It's okay for you to operate in love. It's okay for you to relax. It's okay for you to come out of survival mode. It's okay. It's okay. And that right there by itself is confirmation for a lot of people. That right there, that it's okay, it's okay to relax. That's for you. You running around like a chicken with your head cut off. You trying to fix everything and everybody. You trying to make sure that this go to this and this go to that. And you over there in a whole full blown panic. And you trying to figure out why your chest hurt. You have to wait of the world on your chest. You trying to figure out why your shoulders so tight. You got the stress of many men. You trying to figure out why your head won't stop hurting. Why you keep having all these different migraines. You going a million miles an hour inside of your mind. Relax. Relax. 
that's, come on, that's okay, that's okay. It's okay, I see y'all, it's okay. Say ouch, send a gift, say ouch, send a badge, say ouch, send some stars. Yeah, that's okay, it's okay. Let tears fall. Some of us are scared to relax. Because we feel like if we relax, it'll all fall apart, coach. If I, if, if I relax a little bit, then it's going to all fall apart. How? Yeah, all I know is to go. All I know is to work, work, work. All I know is to do, do, do. All, that's, all I, that's all I know. Thank you, Danielle. Day. That's all I know. And what I'm telling you is, when you're operating with that type of mindset, when you're operating with the mindset that you got that you got to go, 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 and you got to do, 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 then you're thinking that you are controlling the outcome. My love, you are not. When you're go, 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 do, 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 thank you, Samika, for that cash app. I want you to understand that you're doing nothing but wearing. This is a teachable, this is a teachable moment this morning. Yeah, we, we'll get into some other stuff, but this morning I got to teach, okay? I, 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 these things were just on my heart heavy this morning, so give me a second. When you're operating with the mindset that you have got to be the fixer. You have to be the person to put it all into place that if you don't do, if you don't show, if you don't dot, 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 then you are operating with the mindset that you are in control. And what coach wants you to do this morning is I want you to dismantle that thinking. What I want you to do this morning is to let that energy go, to free yourself from that need to be in control, relinquish that need to be in control because the real reality of the situation is just right here. Baby, you are tricking yourself. You are really not in control. You've been bamboozled. Don't throw your shoe. Don't throw your purse. Baby, you, yeah, wait a minute, hold up. You've been bamboozled. You've been hoodwinked. You just been finessed. You been finessed out of your food, the taste. You don't have an appetite because you're so tired. You're too tired to eat. That's the enemy robbing you of your substance. You can't nourish your body the way that you need to because you're too tired to eat. So you don't really eat right. So when you don't eat right, then what happens? You're tired, you're fatigued, you don't think clearly, you sluggish, you're just moving around like you ain't got no sense of urgency. My love, that's a trick of the enemy. Understand, he wants to keep you in panic. He wants to keep you running around. He wants to keep you always operating with that stress, that anxiety. That's what he wants. He wants you to be having in a panic, a constant panic. Everything that you're doing, you're trying to do it in a hurry so you don't take care of yourself the way that you need to take care of yourself. He's robbing you while you're running around, running around. He's robbing you of the rest out of your bed. When you're running around like a chicken with your head cut off, baby, when you lay, you, you don't get the rest that you need. You lay in the bed and you can't even sleep peacefully all throughout your thoughts. The only thing that you're thinking about is what you got to do tomorrow. Mm, what you got to do tomorrow. Come on, talk to me nice. You don't even get to rest the way that you need to rest because the whole entire time you're only thinking about how busy tomorrow is going to be. What I got to do here. What I got to do there. How I got to go here. How I got to go there. So guess what? All throughout your sleep is nothing but running thoughts. Running thoughts. So you go to bed. You're tired. Understand when you wake up, my love, you're still tired. You still feel like you just worked a whole 12, 13 hour shift. Why? Because you're a mom. Mine never rested. Come on. Come on, talk to me. Yeah, come on. Because your mind, your, your, your mind never rested. You laid your body down, but your mind never rested. So you toss and you turn. Your thoughts are all over the place. You get up, and when you get up, you feel just like you did when you laid down. What are you telling me, coach? Release your need to be in control. Let it go. Let it go. Release your need to be the fixer. Let it go. Release your need to hover over to make sure to be the first to let it go. 
Step back, step away, and let somebody else take care of it for a, cha a change. Let somebody else come and bring the, the, the food for a change. Let somebody else volunteer first for a change. Let somebody else jump up. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's step back and see what they'll do if you don't do it. Understand that. Step back out of the way and see how they'll really show up if you don't say anything. What did I say yesterday? Without your influence or pressure. Remove your influence and your pressure so that you can see what people really want to do instead of what you're forcing them to do, what you're influencing them to do, what you're pressuring them to do. Step back and step away and allow some other folk to do it for a change instead of you always being the go-to person, always being the doer, always being the fixer, always being the provider, always being the always been for everybody. Take a break. Step back. Some of these folks are more capable than you give them credit for. They just don't do it because they know that you're going to. Step back. A lot of times you're thinking that you're in control and you're not in control. I want to complete that real quick. I need for you to dismantle that. I need you to get that up out of your mind. You are not in control. That's a trick. That's a tactic of the enemy. That's a trick of the enemy. That's how, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to understand that you've been finessed, you've been bamboozled, and when he tricks you into thinking that you're controlling the situation, that's when you're constantly overworking yourself, overexerting yourself, constantly moving and moving and moving. And the truth of the matter is God is going to do in your life exactly what he's going to to do in your life no matter what he says all you have to do is trust me come on I, I i yeah come on double tap on my screen can i be real i i i, I don't have no i, I got to put it out there for you the way that it has to be put out there the thing about it is you're going to get what is yours no matter what understand that as long as you are in alignment as long as you are following his will on the regular basis as long as you're getting up and you're putting him in front and you're following his lead you're going to get exactly what he said that he was going to give to you no matter what and that's going to come to you without the stress that's going to come to you without the anxiety that's going to come to you without the fear that's going to come to you and when it comes to you understand you ain't got to go through all of that in order for you to get it all you got to do is be at peace huh. what you say coach wait a minute are you, you yeah yeah you mm, okay wait a minute yeah he said yeah when you connected to me you can do all things. That's what he said. He says, I'm the vine. You're the fruit. As long as you're connected to me, you can do all things. There's nothing impossible when you're connected to me. There's nothing that you cannot accomplish when you're connected to me. There's nothing that you can, come on, can I talk to somebody? Where my worshipers at? Double tap on my screen real quick because that just, it hits different. It hits different. I need the hands. I need the hands in the chat. If you know that you know. Everybody won't know, but those that know, know. And when y'all come back from running down your hall, when y'all get back to the phone, I want to put the hands in the chat real quick. Those that know, he says, okay, you're the fruit. I'm the vine. That's what he said. I'm the, I'm the vine. As long as you're connected to me, there's nothing that you can't do. As long as you're connected to me, there's nothing that you can't have. As long as you're connected to me, there's no distance that you cannot go. Everything is possible as long as you are connected to me. Understand that nobody can stop you when you're connected to me. He says, I'm more than the whole entire world against you. Hello, somebody. He said, yeah, the whole, wait a minute, what you say? The whole entire world can be against you and it still won't be able to take down me being with you. Just me, just you, and we more than all of that. <laughs> wait, wait, come on. With me, it's possible. With me, you can have. With me, you don't survive, you thrive. With me, it's pressed down, shaken together. With me, it's an overflow. With me, it's living water. With me, oh baby, you are unstoppable. With me, you are unplaywittable. On this, it might well play with some folk, but they won't be able to play with you as long as you are connected to me. I will expose what you need to know. I will protect you from what need, but you need protection from. I will provide you with every single one of your needs. There will be no lacking 
There will be no brokenness. There will be, yeah, yeah, yeah. There will be no going without. Baby, everything that you need will be what? Supernaturally supplied when you're connected. The question is, are you going, you can't be connected, but then not connected, then connected, then not connected. Are you connected? Come on. Double tap on my screen. Let me get some stars over on Facebook. Let me get five badges on IG. Let me get some love over here on TikTok. Hit that share button. You going to, yeah, we can't do it in the season that we're in right now. We can't handle being conveniently connected. You can't, yo, conveniently connected is not going to work. It's not going to get you the results that you want to get. I just, yeah, I just want to get some love. I, I asked for the stars because I knew that once I said that, it was going to be some people going to get in their little feelings. Baby, yeah, conveniently connected won't work. Uh, yeah, go ahead and let that go, baby. You might want to throw that slam up out the window. Sometimey connected won't work, right? Yeah. I, yeah, I know it's good for it's good, but it's not really good. I know you might get some stuff, but you won't get everything that you're supposed to get. Sometimes it connected every now and again, connected, connected when it's convenient, connected. That just that just won't work. In quarter two, you have to make up your mind. It's either you're going to be connected or not. It's either you're going to be on board or not. It's either you're going to be locked in or not. All the indecisiveness, not knowing where you stand with folk, not knowing where you stand in the relationship, the friendship, the family ship the job ship, all the up and the down and the taking the temperature, walking around with a whole thermometer stuck up in your pocket because you got to see if they hot or if they cold, if they lukewarm, are you good, are you not? Oh baby, those times are over. Understand that that's the same way that it is with Christ. It's either you're going to be connected or not connected. You're on board or not on board, but all of that is what a decision that you have to make. But if you're going to be connected, then you also understand that if you are connected, you have to let go of worrying. If you are connected, you have to let go of doubt. If you are connected, you have to let go of fear. If you are connected, you got to let go of depression. That's right. No more talking about my depression got the best of me. The devil is a lie. Guess what? I shut that depression down. Ain't no more talking about my anxiety is through the roof. The devil is a lie. I will not claim that anxiety. Understand, you will only speak those things that are positive, that are uplifting. Now understand, over your life at this moment, I'm so locked in with him that I'm trusting and believing him to do it all. Good morning, Gigi. Yeah, I'm trusting. Yeah, come on, I'm trusting and believing him to do it all. I can't, I can't worry and have stress and anxiety and still say that I'm connected because he's not, yeah, 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 that's not, he hasn't given us the spirit of fear. And if I'm worrying and if I got stress and anxiety, that's also a part of what? It's a part of fear. Worry, stress, and anxiety are parts of symptoms of fear. What you say, coach? Write it down in your notes. Worry, stress, and anxiety, they are what? They are results of fear. In order for you to experience those emotions, emotions, there has to be some fear in place. You don't worry about something that you're not afraid of. You don't have stress and anxiety about something that you are not afraid of. So when God says, I did not give you the spirit of fear, I'm letting you know right there in that part alone that you are not connected when you're operating with a spirit of fear. You have got to make a decision as to whose side are you on. You are not in control. You have got to release that need understand that what's for you how it's going to work out that's all on him you have got to learn how to relax yeah relax you gotta learn how to relax because as long as you're connected you have he says all you gotta do is do what I instructed you to do do what I'm calling you to do. Do what you were created to do, what you were designed to do, and I'm going to do the rest. Understand that you're worried about things happening. This is why Coach said in the very beginning, you have to be open-minded. Are y'all ready for this? Let me get to a thousand stars real quick. Double tap on my screen. We at 147.5K on TikTok. Good job, y'all. Let's go ahead and get us on up. Work our way on up to our 200K. Double tap on this screen. Let me get some love real quick. I'm about to go somewhere. And when I go somewhere, I, yeah, go ahead at this moment as well. While we about to go here, tell, tag in your friend too. Tag in your best friend, the one you go to brunch and lunch with. Tell them this part right here. Baby, you gonna wanna hear this. Yeah, you, 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 gonna, you gonna wanna hear this. Go ahead and bring them on in real quick. Thank you so much, Sasha Sparks. I appreciate you, man. Double tap on my screen real quick. Thank you, Rachel White. Mm -hmm. 
Double tap on the screen. Whose side that you're on? What is it that you're gonna do in your life? Thank you, Anissa Petty, for that cash app. Double tap on the screen. Send me some love. Send me some love. Send me some love. We have 720. We have 720. We need uh 330. We need 330 on the stars on Facebook. Double tap on that screen. Thank you, Benny. Uh Benny, I appreciate Benny, Benny Simpson. Thank you so much. What's going on, Neek Neek? Uh Tinker Bell, good morning to you. How you doing, Angela? For uh follow. I appreciate you. What are you saying, coach? I'm telling you that at the end of the day, you have to develop, develop that mentality. Thank you, Vanessa, so much. Doris 127, I appreciate that badge. At one point or another in your life, you're gonna have to make up your mind what side of this thing you're gonna really be on, right? And when you are walking with God, when you are making a decision in your life to say that I relinquish all need for control, that I'm letting all of this go, I am what? I am decreasing so that you can increase in my life. I'm removing my mindset and I'm taking on your mindset. In that moment, I need for you to understand that you have got to. This is why I said double tap them because you cannot have fear and faith at the same time. You're going to have to pick one or the other. You cannot have fear and have faith at the same time. Thank you, Jessica. Uh, Jessica Lipcomb, I appreciate that cash app. You cannot have both. Remove that fear, insert that faith. And I'm going to tell you in about 2.2 seconds, I'm about to really bring it home for y'all. Yeah, we're going outside. Y'all get prepared. Go ahead and get your umbrellas because the sun is out. Might want to keep the sun off the back of your neck because it's going to get hot. It's going to get hot and it's going to get heavy. Come on, double tap on that screen. Thank you, King. I need for you to understand that you cannot have fear and have faith all at the same time. I need for you to know that you're going to experience in your life when you start to grow. Thank you so much, Crystal Love, for those stars. Yeah, I need for you to know when you start locking in with God and saying that I'm decreasing so you can increase, that I'm taking on your mindset, on your perspective. I'm starting to see things your way, not my way. I'm following you. In that moment, you have got to understand that you are moving out of the natural. That's going to be hard for some people to grab. Baby, you're, you're, what you say, coach? In that moment, you're moving. This is my inspirational time. Now, I give motivation a moment. This is your inspirational time, right? Right, right. So now, now you're moving out of the natural. What you're telling me, coach? I'm talking about supernatural supply. Hello, somebody. Remember when I said in motivational moment, I said that, you know, you'll come a time in your life right over there when, you, when, you, when you're getting things, you're doing things, right? And I said it'll be coming to you and, you, and it's more than one way to skin a cat. This is the one way that I was telling you about. Remember, I said that my teaching is always doing what? Teaching you how your spiritual life and your physical life, how they run parallel. So now what I'm about to do is show you how they are one and the same and that you need both of them in order for you to live life at your fullest level. You have to have a healthy spiritual life and a healthy mental life. And this is the reason why we do what we do every single day. Remember, I said, she said, it's more than one way to skin a cat, which meant you have to be open-minded. You have to know that that one way of doing things is not the only way of doing things that you may do it like that in this season. But then over here, you may have to do it another way. And the reason why I'm saying that is this right here. Once you start operating, understand that once you start operating with that mind of Christ and growing and evolving, then things will start being supplied to you supernaturally. You won't even know how that's going to come. You didn't even know how that door opened. You won't even know who, who put your name inside of that room. You don't even know how. How did I even get on the roster? Why did they even reach out to me? I don't even know those folks. You done nothing. It just came to you. You done nothing. That just there's no explanation for there's no explanation for what just thank you body by Kara. Thank you Karen nurse. Yeah, there's no explanation for what just happened in my life. I cannot explain that. I don't know what just happened and you developed it. Yeah, I, I told you to tag your best friend because we about to tear it up real quick. The thing about it is when you decrease and allow God to increase in your life, when you take on his perspective not yours, when you start operating while you're in alignment, when you're connected, understand because he says you're the fruit, I'm the vine and as long as you're connected to me that there's nothing that you cannot have I need you to understand then all of a sudden you shift from being that person that operates with stress and an anxiety that's running after things and these things start running after 
after you. You're no longer up all night worrying about how the bills are going to get paid because you know that the bills are going to get paid. You're not worried about what you're going to eat because you already know that it's going to be food and it's going to be an unlimited supply. You know that even if it has to rain manner from the heavens that you will not go hungry. You are trusting and you're believing that he's going to make a way. Supernatural supply in that moment. I don't worry. I don't stress. I don't fret. I don't cry. Why? Because I know who I'm connected to. So I operate in peace. I show up in peace. I speak in peace. I trust and believe what he has said. I don't chase. I attract. I don't chase love. I attract. I don't chase finances. I attract. I don't run after the bag. The bag runs after me. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And what you mean, coach? That's how you shake off that anxiety. That's how you shake off that stress. That's how you let go of that, that those panic attacks and all of that. Right then and there, you relinquish that need to be in control. That need to be in control is what causes the panic or the stress and the anxiety. That need to be in control is what keeps your heart heavy, your chest heavy, your mind cloudy. That's what keeps you frustrated agitated and annoyed. That's what keeps you drained on a regular basis because you're constantly running in circles about things that you're honestly in no type of control over anyway. It's a trick of the enemy. You've been finessed. You've been bamboozled. You've been hoodwinked. You do not control the outcome. You can fill out the application all you want. I got, yeah, because I got to, Tifa, hold on, because I got to make sure that everybody on board. You can fill out the application all day long. You can have all the best credentials all day long. You can have all the good and Experience. You can have years on years on years of experience, baby. You can have the best degree, the highest degree of anybody out there. And guess what? You still won't get the job. They will still say, oh, you're overqualified. They will still say, yeah, nah. They will, yeah, yeah. Just because, just because you fill out the application does not mean that you're going to get the job. Understand that. That's something that you are not in control over. Somebody can follow you right behind you. Understand that. Walk in there. Got they Sunday's best on. Do not have the credentials. Do not have the accolades. Do not have the plaques. Do not have the education that you got. But they walk in there with a confidence. They walk in there with the anointing. They walk in there. They were led. This is going to be your next assignment. And they get hired on the spot. They didn't even halfway. I didn't even get through my application. You already gave me the job. You hired. Supernatural. Supply. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Let's 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 be real. When you get out of your own way, when you get out of your own way and you start to no, you do it. I'm doing what you want me to do. I'm going where you want me to go. I'm I'm saying what you want me to say. Understand supernatural supply. You be talking yourself out of stuff. You be over there walking yourself down about stuff. Understand that if God is saying, baby, you don't need none of that. You you don't need you don't need none of that. You over there talking about what they got, comparing yourself in situations where you ain't even gotta compare yourself. You over there trying to figure out this. And that, baby, I ain't even asked you to figure it out. I asked you to be still and stay connected. Uh, we well, say, Coach, I, I, I said, yeah, you over there trying to figure it out. I didn't ask you to figure it out because your ways are not my ways. Your thoughts are not my thoughts. The things that you're going to think is going to be carnal. Understand that they're not going to be they're not going to be in the spiritual realm like me. I got some other stuff going on. I seen things that you didn't see. I heard things that you did not hear. Understand that all I need you to do is follow my lead. That's what I need you to do. I need you to fast. I need you to pray. I need you to worship. I need you to read. Why? Because I need your discernment to be on point. What you say? I need you to fast. I I need you to pray. I need you to read. I need you to worship. Why? Because I need your discernment to be on point. I need for you to know when it's my voice and when it's yours. Oh uh, yeah, that, okay. Hey, I just gave you four things that you got to make sure that you heighten because you need to make sure that you follow in his voice, not yours. I hope you took that note. Mm -mm. I need you to fast. I need you to pray. I need you to read. I need you to worship. So you're to, in, to heighten your spirit of discernment so you can make sure you're following my voice, not yours. 
I don't need you operating out of you. I don't need you trying to figure it out for you. I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not what I, I need. I need you following my voice. Understand? I need you following my voice. I need you following my plan. That's what I need you to do. And as long as you are, yeah, as long as you are operating at peace, as long as you are connected, as long as you're trusting me to do the job, you ain't got to worry about me. Check my resume. I, yeah, check my resume. And yeah, you can go back and you can look over to see what it is that I done done. I, yeah, my resume is impeccable. Come on, double tap on my screen. What you say? Hey, yeah, yeah, sometimes we have to look at God's resume and just understand my resume is impeccable. I did things for you that you know for a fact that that had to be me. Thank you, Neek Neek, for that cash out. You know that you wasn't capable of that. You know that that didn't have nothing to do with you. Ain't no way in the world you could have made that happen. Ain't no way in the world you could have changed that judge's mind. Ain't no way in the world you could have told those folks to let that. That ain't have nothing to do with you. My resume is impeccable. You have one job. Your job is to do what? Is to lock in. Your job is to be faithful. Your job is to operate in peace. Your job is to operate in love. All you got to do is be connected and you will have a what? A supernatural supply. When you are operating with Christ, you have got to let go of your mindset and allow him to do what it is that he does in your life. And in order for you to take on his mindset, it requires that pressure plan it requires it requires that pressure plan because when you follow in him you got to understand it still ain't for the week you have to have peace even when you don't understand the assignment you have to be at peace even when you don't understand what's going on in your life. You have to have be at peace even when you don't know. I mean, yeah, even when you don't know if you're coming or going, I'm still at peace. I'm still locked in. I'm still trusting you. Supernatural supply. You ain't even got to be present to get the blessing. You ain't even have to be in the room for you to get the blessing. It's they talking about you and you ain't even there. Come on. Talk, talk, talk to me. You, you, they talking about you and you ain't even. I, I, I don't even know those people. It's somebody that you don't even know mentioning your name. Understand that. It's somebody that you crossed paths with years ago that still remember the way that you made them feel. The impact that you had on their life. How you shed love all over them. Shed light all over them. Shed peace all over them. And right then when somebody said something it triggered that remembrance of the experience that they had with you and then all of a sudden they're like hey I know somebody on Instagram hey I know somebody on Facebook hey I know somebody from college and all of a sudden you get a surrogate blessing from somebody that you talked to way back when that all of a sudden just came back up just in a nick of time that's how he works so what are you telling me? When the old folks said that it was more than one way to skin the cat, they were saying that don't get so focused on one thing that you think that that's the only way that it's going to come. Don't get so locked into only one way of thinking, only one way of living, only one way of doing that you start to trick yourself into thinking that it's only that one way. Understand that that's the greatest mistake that you can ever make on your spiritual journey. Understand it's to start thinking that there was only one way of doing things because God, because the God that we serve, he operates in the impossible. Like I told y'all before, he does things big. He does them extreme. He does it in a way where you know and that he's exalted, where he gets all honor and praise from that. And the only way that everybody will see what it is that he does and how powerful that he really is, is when he do it with a boom. He got to do it really big. He have to do it all over the place. Remember when I told you, that's, that's the type of God that there is nothing that he done that wasn't me. Turning water into wine. In front of all them folks at a whole wedding. All them folks there. And you come in with all these barrels of water. And now it's wine in front of everybody. Baby, that ain't little. That's big. Right? That that that's that that's not that's not little baby. That's that's big. He does big. He does big. Yeah, yeah. Big God doing big business about you. And you have to understand that. And every single time that you are operating with a small mindset, then you're taking him completely out. Every single time you're operating with a lacking mindset, then you're taking him completely out. Every time that you're over there with the scarce type of mindset, then you're taking him out because 
because we serve a God that operates in big. Understand that. We, we put it in the comment section. What you say? He operates in big. We, you know, he operates in big. We serve a God that operates in big. So every single time that you're operating with a scarce mindset, a lack mindset, mindset, a broken mindset, that's not him. He operates in big. Yeah, he operates in he operates in big. Let me get some stars. Come on, double tap on that, double tap on that screen. If it's been good to you so far, cause I'm I'm about to do something else. I'm about to go. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm over here. I'm in my moment. Give me a second. Thank you, Shonda. If I didn't bless your soul this far, go ahead and send me some love. Double tap on that screen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's walk word and worship. Walk word and worship right here every single morning from eight a.m. to nine a.m. Or, or a little bit later with your girl Street Poet and the Chosen Family. Double tap on my screen is where you get your three wins a day. You get your mental win, your physical win, and your spiritual win right here. That's why we help you open up your mind, your spiritual mind, your mental, all of that, your physical right here, three wins a day, mind, body, and soul, and that right there is top tier self-care. We make, we give you a different perspective on life. We pour into you so that you can go into your jobs and whatever environments that you're going into with a different type of mindset. That's right, with a smile on your face with great energy, letting folk know, have the day that you deserve, because I'm going to have me a good day, baby. Whether you have you one or not i'm gonna have me a good day already thank you so much if i blessed your soul this far if i blessed your soul this far if i gave you confirmation motivation or inspiration so far do me a favor and send me some love double tap on that screen for me go ahead and send me some love double tap double tap thank you perfect storm i appreciate you thank you so much miss t i appreciate you thank you so much rachel white i thank you come on double tap on that screen for me mm -mm. if you want more just put it in the chat we want more Thank you, Danielle. Danielle, if you want more, just double. Just put it in the chat. We want more. Uh, yes, T uh, T63 say yes. You want some more? I got some more. I got I got a, I got a little bit more. Can I get a little bit more? Yeah, you you ordered it. Okay, word. Appreciate you. I got everybody that ordered their boxes. The journals came in yesterday, so we are gonna start mailing those out as soon as we can too. A little bit. Appreciate you. Thank thank you, body by Kira. Okay, Z. I see you. Double tap on that screen. Y'all want more? Diva Styles uh, 87. I see you. Okay, you want more? I'm gonna bring. I'm about. Yeah, you want some more? Okay, I see you, Crystal D. Gorgeous glow, what's up, Tia? You want more? Y'all know when I say I want more, y'all know what I got, right? I got more. I'm about to go to my board. I'm about to go to my board because see, some folk, some folk don't be getting it, so I have to go to the board. So I have to make sure that y'all, y'all ready to hang out. That y'all got a minute. If y'all gonna give me some time, we are gonna have a block party real quick. Y'all know I love a good old block party. I love to take y'all outside. Thank you, Don. I appreciate you. Double tap on my screen. Y'all ready for the block party? Go ahead and do me a favor. Grab your umbrellas real quick. That's right, so you can keep the sun off your back. I don't want you to get suntan. I'm in a sunburn. Double tap. Thank you, bad gal. I appreciate you. We're going to go to my board because I'm going to show you how big he is, how extreme he is. Thank you, Sasha Sparks. I appreciate you. I'm going to show you the type of work that he'll do. I'm going to show you exactly how he will move in your life and what it is when I say that you have to stay committed. Thank you, Latoya, for the cash app. That's right. You have to stay committed. You have to stay at peace. You have to stay connected to the vine. Thank you so much, Hickman, for that badge. These things are things that you are required to do along your wild walk and that's also going to require you to do what? Relinquish your needs for control. That also means that you got to do what? You got to get out of your carnal thinking, your own mind, and know who it is that you're following. Am I following my voice or am I following his voice? Am I operating out of myself or am I operating out of his, you know what I'm saying, his will and what he is calling me to do in my life? Now, let me make sure you can get all three. I got all three. Okay, there we go. Let's go right here first. We are going right here first, right? We going right here right first. Right now, this is Joseph in the pit. Y'all, I told y'all check his resume. And since some of y'all want to get want to go check the resume on your own, I'm gonna help you check the resume real quick. I'm gonna help you check the resume. So just running down his credentials, just running down the things, different things that he gave us the illustrations in the book to show you exactly how. Yo, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just check him out real quick. This Joseph. This is Joseph in the pit. Go ahead, you can put the letter P. This your first P. That's the pit. Joseph in the pit. Right, he's in the pit, thrown there by his brothers. 
right? Joseph is in the pit. He was in the pit and he was also in the prison. Put the P inside the chat. He was in the pit and he was also in the prison. Understand that. But then he ended up being a whole nother P. What's the other P that he ended up being, God? A uh, street? He ended up being a what? The prime minister. PPP. He was the what? That's like most like a PPP loan. He had a big old come up. What'd you say? Joseph experienced the PPP. He went from the pit to the prison to the prime minister. Understand? Check his resume. This is what I'm trying to tell you. All all of these things that was happening to Joseph in these moments, you would have never thought that somebody that was abandoned by his own family, thrown into a pit by his own family, sold into slavery by his own family, betrayed, let down, backstabbed, and everything in between by his own family. Guess what? From the pit to prime minister, that's where he went. Why? Because he was always connected. He was always trusting. He was always locked in. He still knew that God was going to do what? Exceedingly and abundantly all that he could ask or think. He was trusting even in the pit. Anointed in the pit. Still believing in the pit. Still locked in right there in the pit. What are you saying? That there's going to be some times in your life where you're going to feel like you're in a prison of life. When you're in a pit of life. You're on a downward spiral of life. And guess what you got to do? You still got to operate in peace. You got to sit in a pit. Yeah, come on. Yeah, Indian style in the pit. Legs crossed. You got to sit in the pit. Why? Because this pit is part of the plan. I got it. Yeah, it's going to be sometimes in your life. Friends say, oh my God. Come on, double tap in my, life, in my screen real quick. You have to understand that you're going to experience some things in your life where you're going to have to sit in this pit. And when you're sitting in that pit, when you're feeling like you're on that downward spiral, when you feel like you're taking one blow, after another blow, after another blow, after another blow, you have got to still be trusting. I still trust you. I still believe. I'm still locked in. Even in a pit, I'm at peace because I know who you are even in a pit I'm at peace because I know you were still a protector you still a provider you still a way maker understand that even in a pit you are still Jehovah you are still Jehovah Jireh you are still Jehovah Ra understand that I know these are things that you are still going to do so though they slay me I'm still going to trust you though they talk bad about me I'm still going to trust you though they're coming against me left and right I'm still going to trust trust you even when everybody else thinks that I should just go do this and go do that and turn my back and go over here and go I'm going to stand right there where I know why I'm checking your resume he went right here in the pit from the pit to the prison to the prime minister so what I'm saying if he did it for Joseph he can do it for you it didn't stop mm -mm. It did, it, yeah, he did it for Joseph, so he he can do it. He can do it for you. Yeah. Oh, what? What? You, why, why you? What, wait, hold up. What you say? He said that um he the same. Check the book. He said he's the same. He's the same one. He's the same God. Uh, he, he's the same. He don't change. I'm the same God now, today, and forevermore. Not, to, to now, today, and forevermore. So if that means if he was over there doing that then, then he's going to do that right now. You know what I'm saying? So wh why is you counting yourself out? Why are you being a Debbie Downer in your life? Why are you walking around stressed out and having all this weight on your shoulders for what reason? When I'm telling you right now that even in a pit, you got to have peace. Even in a pit, you still got to trust. Even in a pit, you know, he's still going to do exceedingly and abundantly all that you can ask or think because I can only imagine what the mindset of Joseph was while he was down in the pit. He's down in the pit. I can only imagine what he was thinking while he was down there. The things that he had to shut down inside of his own mindset. The negative dialogue inside of his own mind that he had to shut down while he was down there. And guess what? There's no different from what we gotta shut down today. You have to shut down that negative internal dialogue that's saying that I'm gonna be done. I'm in this pit. It's over for me. I'm down bad. I'm in this pit. I can't come out. I might as well let it go. You have got to stop speaking negatively over your life and start trusting even when you're in the pit. Can we go right here? We're going to go right here. I got another illustration. Wait, Y'all said that I had time that I could have a block party. So I'm having my black part, my block party. Double tap on my screen. Let me drink my water because y'all know the sauna suit is hot. Show me some love though. Wait a minute. If you, if you see it, if you see it, if you understand it, if you grasped it, if that right there was the visual presentation that you needed, if that was the one, send me some love. Mm -mm. I got some more though. 
That was for you, Tifa. Tifa got it. Okay. Crush King said he got it. Okay. Monica, I see you. Send me some love. Let me get some love on IG real quick. Come on, double tap on my screen. Let me get some love on Facebook. P hey, there you go, Joseph. In the pit. Thank you, Antoinette. Joseph in the pit. Pit, prison, prime minister. Come on, body by cure. Pit, prisoner, prime minister. He got a PPP. He had to come up. He had the PPP loan even back then. And here we is thinking that it was something brand new. Joseph had a whole entire come up. He had, yeah, he had started a whole business off the PPP. Look at him. They had what some of y'all did. Some of y'all didn't, but we're going to be moving on from that. Thank you, Nicole Lieber. Some of y'all got the loan and just didn't do what you're supposed to do. But we talking about Joseph real quick. Yeah, he, yeah, I'm just telling you, we're at the block party right now. We're going to have us a whole, it's a whole thing. Thing outside right now. It's a whole thing outside. Y'all can only imagine what I'm about to go with this whole thing. I didn't have people inboxing me, writing in my comment section, asking, what is this you got on this board? And I said, show up to the live video so that you can see what the board really meant. Great illustration. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Gorgeous glow. Thank you so much. Let me get, I need to get, uh, what is it? Uh, four, 420 stars on IG, on Facebook. Double no, check. We're going right here. Y'all know what this is right here. Oh, baby, this is the top of the prison. This is a, the second layer of the prison and this right here this is down this is down in the bottom of the prison this is Paul and this is Silas Paul and Silas in the very bottom of the prison because it said that they put them in the deepest part of the sea of the prison right they went into the lowest part the lowest of the low so we got down in the pit and we got down in the prison so he's down at the lowest level of the prison He's down at the very bottom. Come on, double tap on my screen. They're down, there, they're down there in the bottom of the prison, right? Why that Paul and Silas is down in the bottom of the prison? What happens, coach? Come on, just somebody, somebody just say what happened. Let me take this off. Somebody just say, coach, what happened when they was down in the bottom of the prison? Well, while they was down in the bottom of the prison, right? Something happened at midnight. At midnight, when they was down in the bottom of the prison, mind you, they arrested for teaching. They, they arrested for teaching. So it wasn't even that they was doing nothing wrong. It wasn't even that they had did something they had no business doing. They was arrested and threw in the bottom of the prison for teaching. What are you saying with just that illustration? You can be doing everything right, and that does not mean that you won't end up in the prison. You can be doing everything right, and guess what? That does not mean that something wrong won't happen. Some of y'all like, I pray like how I'm supposed to pray. I do what I'm supposed to do. I do this and I do that. And how in the world you can do everything right and you're still going to be tested. You can do everything right and you're still going to experience some level of hardship, trial, tribulation, dark hour in your life. But what you got to understand is even though those are all tests, these are things that you're experiencing to strengthen your faith. These are things that you're experiencing to show God that even, the, yeah, even in the toughest times, I'm still going to trust you. Even when the whole world is against me, I'm still going to trust you. Even with my back against the wall, I'm still going to trust you. That my faith is not based on my predicament. My faith is not based on my circumstance. My faith is not based on the situation that I'm in. I'm tested, but I'm still trusting. I'm down bad, but I'm still trusting. Got a negative report, but I'm still trusting. Don't know if I'm coming or going, but I'm still trusting no matter whatever it is that you're going through, you got to still make sure that you're trusting. Don't get through, go through certain things in life and now that you're going through those things, you over there talking about, well, I didn't got thrown down here, so I guess I wasn't doing the right thing. That is the devil speaking to you. That's the enemy trying to attack your mind and instill those negative thoughts to get you to think that you are not who you said that you were. That's his job to deceive you. That's his job to make you think less of yourself. That's his job to make you think that you're not good enough, that you're not worthy, that you're not deserving. That's how he operates because the moment that you start looking at yourself like you're not deserving, like you're not enough, then you will start to treat yourself that way. You got Paul and you got Silas. They're in the bottom of the prison, right? They say in the deepest part. They are not there because they've done something wrong. They are there because of the teaching, right? Why they're there all of a sudden. Remember, I say supernatural, right? Uh, earthquake take place. When the earthquake take place, then the, the prisons, everything's shaking. They locked up, they scrapped. Hands shangled, shangled, shackled, feet shackled. Bottom of the prison. So not only are you shackled, you're in the bottom of the prison. And out of nowhere, 
Hey, come an earthquake? Remember when I said supernatural? When you're following Christ, you cannot operate with a carnal mindset. Operating in a carnal mindset will have you looking for a way that is natural. You're thinking that it has a natural way to get out. Like you have to find the keys. Like you have to find the guard. Take the keys from the guard. Will have you thinking those type of thoughts. Supernatural would be that I'm trusting God that he's going to touch somebody's heart to let me out. He's going to create a way for me to get out. That he's going to change somebody's heart. He's going to change somebody's mind. That's what, yeah, when you're talk, we're talking spiritual right so now they're in the bottom and all of a sudden supernatural the, the earthquake comes when the earthquake comes it shakes everything it's the earthquake is so strong it is so powerful that it does what it breaks it shakes the shackles off of Paul and Silas it shakes the chains right off of Paul and right up off of Silas right not then and there they didn't got that they didn't got everything shook right off of them right they ain't got no more chains holding them they ain't got nothing shackling them no more all of this stuff have come up off of them. I want you to listen to what I'm saying. Most of us, if we're operating with that carnal mindset, if we're operating out of ourselves, what will we do? When we operate out of ourselves, we go, as soon as them chains come off, we take it off. Tell the truth. If we was Paul and Silas, as soon as, if you're operating out of you, as soon as them chains fell off, you would have took off. It says the doors of the prison flew open. The chains fell off. This is why in the very beginning of this video, I said that you have to get out of your way. That you have to understand that when you start operating with God, we're talking supernatural. We're not talking carnal. That's what I said. I said that you have to allow him to lead because his ways are not our ways. His understanding is not ours. This is what I'm telling you. So you have to understand that even in that moment and carnally, if you're operating out of yourself and here you are, you locked up for teaching. You, didn't, you ain't even did nothing. You're locked up for teaching and all of a sudden when those doors flew open and those chains flew off if you are not operating with a healthy discernment then you will operate out of yourself you will listen to your voice not the voice of Christ what you would do is soon as them doors open you would have flew up out of there you would say oh the Lord that set me free it's time for me to go you would have been the first thing smoking right up out of that prison because you were operating out of yourself you were only concerned with with yourself you were only worried about yourself you were wrapped up in what self and I need for you to understand that when you start operating in the spiritual realm it's no longer about you yeah 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 yeah, yeah. most of you worrying because you're worried about you what I'm gonna eat where I'm gonna sleep what I'm gonna have what I'm gonna drive what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna... it's always about you 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 we were not created for that baby we were created to serve how is it how is it that you serve your purpose is about you serving how are you showing up to serve and be a service to other people understand your purpose is not what you do but it's what you do that impacts other people you would have been concerned about you because you would have been operating in a carnal mindset that was wrapped up in what in you but Paul and Silas they were not wrapped up in that same carnal type of mindset they were locked in like I said they were connected he says you're the fine I'm the fruit as long as you're connected to me you can do all things in that moment where everything sprung open the guard was at a panic he said oh my god they the, the prisoners they didn't got out they didn't got out they didn't took off I'm gonna be in so much trouble I'm it's gonna go down for me ain't no way in the world that I, oh it's gonna be over for me so he was about to harm himself. He was about to take himself out. And then they yelled. They said, nah, don't do that. We are here. He was astonished. He was surprised. Wait a minute. How in the world, how in the world are y'all still here and the doors are open? Why are y'all still here and, and, and the chains are off of y'all? He was astonished. He was amazed at their dedication, at their commitment that he knew that even in that moment, I know who you serve. I know, And I want that. I want, I want to serve your God. I want to know what you know. I want to be a part of what you were part of because how in the world did you have that type of peace? How in the world did you operate with that type of desire, restraint? How in the world did you not run? How in the world did you stay placed right here? With, why did you do that? And guess what? Not only was the guard introduced to Christ, but his whole family was as well. 
Not just, not just the guard, but his whole family was as well. He went over there. He went, he went over there. Then he, took, he took them to his house. Brought them across his threshold. Let them sit at his table. Had food prepared and fed them. And it just wasn't a blessing for him. It was a blessing for his whole entire family. Whatever it is that God does, he does it big. He does it in abundance. Understand that. And there are some of us that will also be a surrogate blessing for some other folk. You got to understand. So we had Joseph in the pit. We had Paul and Silas in the pit. A pit of prison all the way down at the very... Both of them had something in common. It was down below. They was down, down in the darkest of the darkest. And they still had to push forward. You were going to be in the darkest of the darkest in your life. And you're still going to have to push forward. You're going to be in some testing times. And you still got to push forward. You're going to be on a downward spiral. But you still got to push forward. And you got to be consistent. You got to be dedicated. And you got to be willing to say that I'm still going to sit still. I'm still going to be connected. I'm still going to have faith. I'm still going to hold on to what you told me to hold on to. Last illustration. Let's slide on over here. If that was the one for you, if you know that you've been in a situation where you know what, coach? Get your shoe real quick. Have you been in a situation where you say, you know what, coach, that illustration, that right there, that one was for me. That way, yeah, we talked about this in the beginning of the video, how important it is to be in the right room so you can get the right information so you can see how it run parallel. If you've been in a position in your life where you had to help the very people that was hurting you, you had to help the very people that imprisoned you, where you had to come over there and pour into the same people that ridiculed you, that bashed you, that threw chains and shackles on you in your life in one way or another. If you're saying that coach right there, you know what, that was my breakthrough that was my confirmation that right there that was me i have experienced that at one point or another in my life i had yeah i thought they did me how they did me come on double tap on the screen send me some love on tiktok send me some love on ig send me some love on facebook let me get some stars double tap on that screen if you know say ouch say ouch and send some love the truth of the matter is coach i'm doing some of y'all like coach i'm doing it right now the same ones that ridiculed me that talk bad about me that discredited me that slandered me is the same ones right now that them tables in turn now they need me now they want me now they calling me now they looking up for me and guess what coach guess what I'm gonna do it's the God in me I gave it to him and I walked away I gave it to him and there was no screens to chat attached I blessed them because that was the godly thing to do I did it for him because that was the godly thing to do in spite of how they treated me I did it with kindness I did it with cheer I did it with love in my heart no matter yet I know I yet you have to deal with what you done you have to deal with what you said understand it yeah yeah I you we ain't gotta go back and forth about it but you know and I know and that's enough right there and I kept right on moving I kept right on grinding I kept right on being in position some of us right now are helping the very people that went outside of their way to slander to be little to discredit understand yeah 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 let's be real I was helping them and they was hurting me Paul and Silas they could have ran and it would have been over for you bro they could have took off, but they didn't. What are you saying in that one, in this one right here? Grab your red ink pens. Just like what you do is important, what you don't do is just as important. That's a red ink pen note. It was power in their stillness. There was power in them. I tell my people in the Patreon all the time, practice desire restraints. What you don't do is just as important. Everybody want to know what you did, what you did, what you did, what you did, what you did. Girl, I would have did. It was what I didn't do. I didn't exchange negative energy. I didn't lay down my religion. I didn't step out of alignment. I didn't do evil for evil. Instead, I did what God would do. Oh, it's going to be some confused folk. Because ain't no way I would have. That's why you, you, and I'm me. Oh, I could have never. Don't worry. You couldn't stand up in my shoes, let alone walk them. Yeah. Uh, 
It's a fact. Yeah, that yeah. Some some people love that. I I could never. We know. We know. We're not built the same. We 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 get it. Yeah. I yeah. We 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 completely understand. And yes, that's exactly what I said. You couldn't stand up straight in my shoes, let alone walk in them. Some of the things that I've endured in life, some of the things that I had to face in life, you wouldn't even be here today. You wouldn't even be able to say any of the things that I'm saying right now. So sometimes you have to let folk know. Just like baby, I know. Yeah, that's why you're you and I'm me. You would never be able to. We get it. We understand. Can I go? Can can I got? I got time for one more. Can I do one more? I want to do one more real quick. Can I give y'all one more? Y'all 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 down for one more? Those were just. That's just the first two. But I, yeah, that, those just the first two. Can I do? One? I see Kira. Kira sending me some love. So that must mean she wants the last. She want. She like coach. Give me the third. Give 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 me the third. She's hungry all the time though. Give me give me the third. I'm gonna need some of that. Thank you Z. I appreciate you. I need the third. Let me get some of that. I want I, I want everything that you pouring. I'm you pouring. I got my cup. You pouring. I pulled out a pot. Uh, yeah, I want everything that you pouring. You say, yes, I see Nick. Nick say, come on, coach. Okay, okay, Verna. Verna will appreciate those stars. Come on with it. Y'all say, come on with it. Y'all want the third one? Okay, Leandria, I see you. Come on, Kizzy. Okay, I just want to know who want it. You know what I'm saying? Faith travel, first world traveler. I see you. You want it. Lady Scorpio want it. Okay, y'all want it. Okay, now we're going to slide on over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You know what I'm saying? We got, we got them down here in the fiery furnace. I see you, Lily. Come on, double tap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all said y'all want it. Okay, so now we got the, we got all three of them. This right here. This is y'all. Y'all notice something about all three of these situations? Everybody is down. Everybody is beneath. Everybody's in a pit of some sort. So now they in the fiery pit, baby. Now they in. This is the prison pit. This is the fiery pit, and this is the cave pit that they. That, yeah, yeah. This is just a little hole that that that, that they throw Joseph in. So you got. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego down in the fiery furnace, right? And the thing about this situation is, now here we are again, somebody being persecuted for doing what? For teaching. Somebody being persecuted for his name's sake. So now here they are, down here in the fiery furnace, and I can only imagine, because y'all know, y'all know how it is, when you down, when you down bad, when you going through things in life, when you got a struggle in your life, you always got somebody that got something negative to say. You always got somebody that's being a spectator, that's being a hater, in your life that's always trying to see and they checking your page to see if you down bad, checking your page to see if you done gave up, checking your page to see if you still smiling, you still grinning, you still got joy and peace so let's just put them up here real quick hold on, let's put, cause I ain't got the spectators up let me put the spectators up, so let's just say we got a little platform up here right little platform, we got, let's put some spectators up, up here, we got some spectators, they got, let's give them a head and we got, we got them looking over, you got the spectators, they peeping over and to the fiery furnace because they're trying to see if Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego what they're doing down there in that fiery furnace because we put you in there because we were trying to we was trying to set you on fire. We put you down in there because we were trying to make sure that we was going to we gonna end this for you. This is a wrap for you. Can you imagine what the spectators and the haters was thinking about when they were peeping over in here and they seen not three but four? talk to me nice real quick. Yeah, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sometimes, what you're saying in this illustration, coach, I'm trying to say that sometimes in your life you feel like you are by yourself. You feel like you are all alone. You feel like you're going through it by yourself. And God is saying, I'm right here. I'm right here. Baby, yeah. He said, he said, I'm, I'm, I'm right here. You thinking that, you think that I'm going to let them do that to you? You thinking that you're going to be down there by yourself? You, no, 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 no. I'm right here with you. I said that even if you made your bed in the pits of hell, that I would, I would be there. I said that there was no way, nowhere that you could go that I wouldn't be right there with you. So even in the fiery furnace, I'm right here with you. They said that these people right here, the people that's looking to destroy you, to discredit you, to slander you, to belittle you, the people that are digging this pit for you, that threw you into this fiery pit. Understand that even inside of this pit, I'm still right here with you. And when they can you imagine the look on their face when they look down in there and they saw what? They saw them not whining, not crying, not being sad and depressed, not claiming stress and anxiety, not claiming that they were gonna be all done with and all of that, like how we do get to moping and crying and whining. Our life is so over, and I can't believe this, that, and the third. What did they say? They said they looked over into it, looking over into the pit, and when they looked at 
into the pit. What did they see? They looked over into the pit and they saw four men. They were walking around. They wasn't sitting down. He seen four men and they was dancing and they was singing and they was giving praise. They wasn't having no pity party. They wasn't being no Debbie Downer. They wasn't over there stressed out. They wasn't over there laid up on no couch talking about I just need. No, they were singing and they were praising. And then the gotcha, the gotcha part was this here. When it got to the point where it said, wait a minute. How you been, y'all know, how you been down in a fiery furnace? If you stood beside a, gr a grill at a cookout, you ain't got to stand there but two seconds. You ain't got to do really nothing but walk by the smoke. And the smoke will be in your hair. It'll be in your clothes. It'll sometimes feel like it's in your skin. I want you to go outside with me. What you say, coach? Imagine yourself, you done been to a cookout and you walk by the grill. And when you walk by the grill, that scent is all in your hair. It's in your clothes. It's all on you. When you lay down on a pillow at night and you move, you can smell the smoke inside your hair. Can you imagine? Come on, double tap. We're my worshipers. I'm calling the worshipers. I'm calling the praisers. Worship and praisers. Show up in the chat real quick. I need, yeah, I need the dancing lady. I see the dancing lady on IG. I need the dancing lady and the worshipers, the hands. I need the dancing lady and the hands real quick because this right here, you cannot sanitize. This right here, you can't dilute. This right here, you can't water down. This right here, this is the, uh, yeah, yeah, this is the uh, finish her. Understand that that's the one that's going to take you all the way out. That's the one that we're going to close on. That's the one right there that you can walk away and no matter what it is that you face throughout your day today, you know that you are more than a conqueror. No matter what you experience today, you know that you're going to, God is going to do exceedingly and abundantly all that you can ask for a thing. You know that when you walk away from this live video today, you're walking away in peace. You're walking away in joy. You're walking away and you're walking away feeling victorious because even if I'm in a pit, he is with me. Even if I'm in the prison of life, he's with me. Even if I'm in the fiery furnace, he's right there with me. So all I got to do is lock in. All I got to do is be consistent. All I got to do is be connected. All I got to do is have that peace. All I got to do is get out of my own way. You know for a fact if you walk by a grill, you smell the smell. Can you imagine pulling them out? You can't smell no smoke on. You can't, wait a minute, you can't. Come here, boy. My boy, my boy. You don't smell nothing on them. It was as if it never happened. Wait a minute, coach. Wait a minute, I didn't heard this talk, but wait a second. Wait, I see you inspiring queen, but wait a, wait, wait, wait a minute, coach, where you going? What I'm telling you is that you're going to go through some fire in your life, some situations in your life. You're going to have some experience in your life, but I want you to understand that once you go through what you're going through, baby, there's not going to be a stench left on you. Understand that there's not going to be a stench left on you on you. I don't care what decisions that you make, what valleys that you found yourself in, what struggles that you had. When you start operating with God, walking with God, when you ask him to clean up you and clean up your heart, when you say create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me, that stench is completely clean. You understand that you can walk out and you don't have to walk out afraid. You can walk out and you don't have to be ashamed. You don't. You can walk out and you ain't got to be self-conscious. You ain't got to be insecure. You ain't got to be worried about many of the things that you have gone through, the mistakes that you've made, the hard things that you, situations and predicaments that you put yourself in. You can walk away from those things without a stench. Let it go. Let it go. God did. Ain't nobody judging you but you. And the other people that's judging, we don't care nothing about. It's not about what they think. It's about what you and God think. Let it go. He did. See a forgiveness. Give yourself grace. Give yourself mercy. Let, you go. Let it go. So that you can create the very best version of yourself that you can possibly create. You owe this right here to you. This journey is personal. 
You owe this to you. You earned this. With every tear that you've cried, every struggle that you've had, you've earned this good life that he's promising you. But every night that you pace the floor, my love, you earn this good life that he's promised you. For all the times you drove around, running your gas out, trying to think clearly, you earn this. For every piece of domestic violence and abuse and any hardship, any childhood trauma, any generational curse that you had to fight to break, you earn this, this life that he's promised you. I've gone through the struggle. I've gone through the pain. I've gone through the heartache. I've experienced the betrayal. I'm ready for my good. I'm ready for my press down. I'm ready for my shaking together. I'm ready to live in peace and joy. I'm ready to have sanity. I deserve this. Not another day. I relinquish it. I release it. I let it go. My new life starts right now. My new moment starts right now. Even if I woke up this morning and my heart was heavy, I let it go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My new moment starts right now. If my mind was cloudy, if I had an ounce of stress in me, I let it go. If I had an ounce of anxiety in me, I let it go. My new moment starts right now. I'm coming out of the fiery furnace. If that was your situation and you had people speaking negatively over you, you had people talking and lying on you and making up stories about you so much that they and threw you into the pits of the fiery furnace and you like coach I ain't did them nothing I don't know what the problem is let it go there's not a stench on you if you've been locked into the basement into the prison and you found yourself helping the same people that hurt you I'm just let it go that's the God in you it's not yeah 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 let it go go ahead and free yourself from that if you have been over there betrayed by your family betrayed by your friends and people went through into a pit understand that let it go it's okay because what did we learn today that even though I go through the pit I go through the prison I go through the fiery furnace I can still win and I will and I will because as long as he's for me then it's more than a whole entire world against me I win put it in my chat I win declare it over your life speak it over your life I win I win I win. Speak it to every devil in hell, I win. Every man, woman walking God's green earth that thought that they could count you out, let them know I win. For every negative energy that might be surrounding you, I win. I need I need for you to know, I win, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, I win. I win. I know you probably thought that I wasn't going to make it. I know you probably thought that I wasn't going to be here. But guess what? I win. I know that you thought that the last time that you did what you did to me, how you did that. Yeah, I, know, I know you thought that that was going to knock me off my pivot. I know that you thought that that was going to take me out of alignment. I know you thought that that was going to break me down to my lowest form, but guess what? I win. I'm still in alignment. I win. I'm still pushing forward. I win. I'm still trusting God. I win. I'm still standing on his word. I win. I'm still operating in obedience. I win. I win. I love, 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 love me some of you every single day that you wake up and you put 10 toes to the ground. I want you to sweat yourself. Tell yourself how beautiful you are and how much you love you because there's no love like self-love. And you first have got to love yourself way before you're able to love anybody else. If I bless your soul this morning, do me a favor and send me some love on IG, uh, on TikTok. TikTok, if I bless your soul this morning, if I lifted your spirits, if I motivated you in any type of way, shape, or form, let me get some love shown over here. Double tap on it screen y'all are at 339.4k i know that's right double tap on that screen appreciate y'all so much man ig same thing if i blessed your soul if i motivated you inspired you if i gave you a different perspective help you open your eyes to see things in a better way let me get a couple of badges over here on ig y'all double tap on my screen facebook same thing if i gave you inspiration motivation if i moved you this morning if i touched you in a place that you need that touch and showed you that love this morning that 
you've been waiting for. If you just say, Coach, I needed everything you dropped. Send me some love. Send me a couple of stars over here on, on, on Facebook real quick. If you just say, Coach, you know what? You did your job. You showed up and you did your job. And I'm telling you, the illustrations was on point. I seen myself in all three of them. And guess what? It was just what I needed right when I needed that. I needed that lifting. I needed that reminder. I needed to be pulled back into place because you're right. I'm easily offended when people are telling me something about myself. And now I understand that I need to be surrounded by the right people, need to be in the right rooms, need to have a wider perspective on life, to have a broader uh, outlook on life or open mindedness, being a student. I'm glad that you brought that up today. I'm glad that you taught on that today. Double tap on my screen. If you want to be a part of the chosen family, the link is right there in my bio. It says Linktree Street. Scroll down to where it says mental health support group. Click that link and hit the $10 tier and become a part of the chosen family right now. Today, we have prayer every Tuesday, Thursday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we have our hour class on Thursday night from 6.30 to 7.30. And we're currently dissecting the book. We're almost halfway through that book, though. But, yes, yeah, so this is what we do every Tuesday and Thursday. We link up in the side the Patreon. That is all exclusive. Exclusive prayer hour for Tuesday, Thursday, exclusive class. These things are not posted online. So yes, it is a safe space for you to share your deepest thoughts, your concerns, your testimonies, things that you're dealing with in life. Thank you so much, Chosen. Thank you, Faint. Your, whatever it is that you're going through in life, if you're looking to have some people that are like-minded, that are growing, that are healing, that are not going to be judging and bashing you, you need to sign up for the Patreon because like I said in the beginning of the video, this is where it's at. My next stop is going to be Jamaica. Jamaica the grill jamaica i am on the way um, that's going to be june 7th through the 11th that's right baby if you're going to be in jamaica the grill jamaica i am on the way street poet your favorite online motivational and inspirational speaker will be the speaker for the conference that's right man i'm telling you we going we going we going we going july the 27th i'm going to be in virginia that's right virginia baltimore virginia area i'm coming up in there matter of fact that event right link is going to be dropped later on today so if you in the dmv new york York, DMV, all up in that area up there. You know how y'all do. I am going to be in Virginia, so yes, I'm going to get that link dropped for you guys so y'all can start getting y'all tickets for the Get In The Room Tour of Virginia. I love me some you, man. I want you guys to have an amazing day. Uh, just a quick reminder, yes, the, the journals ended up coming in late last night, so I will be picking them up later on today. I'll be picking up everything, and once I get everything, yes, I will go. I'm, I'm probably going to be live so you guys can see me live in person packing some of y'all boxes. We're going to get some boxes shipped out this week some more shipped out next week and we're gonna keep this thing rolling right along the hello somebody man i am super excited about my journals and everything that's gonna be coming with it it's just truly a blessing man god is doing wonderful things he's doing amazing things and it's it's, it's just man it's just a blessing thank you savannah for that cash app i want you guys to go and have an amazing day okay y'all be great